You've been in pre-season training now for a few weeks. What, what have you been doing with the guys that are here? Obviously, a lot of guys are away with their international squads. But what's been the focus of sort of block one? Well, I, think, I suppose the main the main focus is on uh, on physical preparation. But as well as that, there's been uh, uh, an emphasis on skills as well. Um, working with um, Gregor, Kenny, and myself on on various aspects of uh, of skill work. And and for my my position in particular, maybe introducing a. a a few things, maybe maybe the language and, and things like that that I use in, in terms of forward play um, and, and trying to add a little bit to what, what's already a good base um, and trying to bring my ideas and, and, and the things that I have and, and blend them in with, with, with all the good stuff that's been done already. And there's, there's quite a lot of young players in the forwards next season, some who, who aren't here yet because of being with the under 20s. but. Darcy Days and the Ferguson. So, how excited are you to be working with those with those young players and developing them? Yeah, very much so. You know, that's you know that, that that's the culture that I've come from. Um, one of player development, um, and and uh, you know I, I'm very used to dealing with with players coming through from academies and dealing with them in the academies as well, um, helping them grow as players and develop into professional uh, professional players. Hopefully, that's a that's that's a skill that I can bring that'll help uh, at the Warriors. And how have you found the facilities here at Scots and obviously been able to train and play all in the one location? Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, you know it is. They are they are good. Uh, they are good facilities. Um, as you say, being able to train in the same place as uh, having all the facilities in one place is extremely important. Um, uh, I, I, I think that I think the players respond to that. You know, the the the, the ability to be able to come in early in the morning and, and do two sessions and, and eat in the same place. Um, uh, helps not only their their capacity for training, but also their their um, ability to be able to form relationships and and, and uh, build that culture of, of, of understanding each other. Um, and the and the Champions Cup pool uh, draw has just been made. It's a really exciting uh, draw with Northampton Saints, Racing ninety two and Scarlets. How much are you looking forward to that? Yeah, very much so. You know, uh, three quality sides. Scarlets obviously. Uh, um, Having worked in the Pro 12, I know them well. Um, everybody who's worked with the Warriors knows them well. You know they're a good side with with, with a lot of good players. Um, Northampton, uh, uh, you know, traditionally have been very strong in in Europe and and, and they're a very strong uh, side every year in in the Aviva Premiership. Um, um, so they, alongside uh, uh, Racing, will will offer a huge contest up front. It was such an exciting league last season. So many teams were competitive, and it was so close at the top of the table as well. So, it's really exciting for the supporters for another yeah. season to look forward to that. Yeah, no, I agree with that. That's uh, it was. It was really exciting uh, league. I think the. The fact that uh, there was competition for Europe um, uh, made it so. Um, and going into the last weekend, you know, I think I think nearly every every game had had meaning on it, um, um, and and that's only good for the only good for the league at, at all ends of the league. Whether you're competing for for sixth, seventh place, or whether you're the two Italian clubs fighting for their place in in Europe, that can only be good uh, the nature of the league. And I think it's I think it's a terrific league.